Another example of using timer interrupts, let's build a frequency counter. With that, I'm going to measure the speed of the fan, I'll go right here, by counting how many pulses per second appear on the data line. Now the way the fan works, it's got three wires, a red wire, black wire, and blue wire. The red wire is power, black is ground. Voltage is anywhere between 0 and 12 volts. The higher the voltage, the faster it spins. The blue wire pulse is twice per rotation. You need a 1K resistor, pull up to 5 volts. And you kind of see on the display, every time it rotates, RC0 is toggling. Now to do that, we need to use two sets of interrupts. RC0 is going to be the data line, the blue wire. Timer 1 is set up not as an interrupt, but just as a counter. Instead of uh, counting clocks, it's going to count edges on RC0. Timer 0 is then set up to interrupt every one second. By counting cycles per second, or edges per second, I know the frequency in hertz. What that looks like in code is the following. In the interrupt service routine, I've got two interrupts, timer 0 and timer 1. Timer 0 interrupts once every second. The prescaler is set to 256. 256 times 39,000 is 10 million. So once a second, timer 0 kicks in. When it kicks in, it's going to see how much you counted to in timer 1 and record the previous time. Timer 1 doesn't really do anything. It's every 65,000 edges it interrupts. Actually, it's not even used. And the main routine then, when you set it up, I set up timer 0 for 256. Timer 1 is set up for an internal, external uh, input on RC0. And timer 2 is just one killer signal if you want a reference. The main routine, all it does is display this is the current time, so I know how many edges have come by, and the frequency, how many edges per second. What that looks like is the following. The top row is how many edges I've seen on the signal. If I stop it, it quits counting. As I start spinning it, and that starts counting up. And the number of edges per second, or frequency in hertz, is in row 2. So I change the voltage from 0 volts, where it stops. The edges start, stop counting up, and the frequency is 0. Increase the voltage to 2 volts. 4 volts, 5 volts, 12 volts. Frequency goes up. This is one way to measure speed in terms of cycles per second. Also, it's a frequency counter.